Pastor Ralph here, blessings to you all. Another beautiful day given to us from above. I want to share this morning with you. The Bible says in Titus 2 9 10 teach slaves to be subject to their masters in everything, to try to please them, not to talk back to them, and not to steal from them, but to show that they can be fully trusted, so that in every way they will make the teaching about God our Savior attractive. We make the gospel unattractive when we live contrary to our beliefs. The gospel becomes unattractive to those outside the church when our lives don't match up to what we say we believe. For example, you don't adorn the gospel when you show lack of respect for your boss, use the phones and computers at your job, for personal business, take extra long lunch breaks, steal paper or pens, or whatever you can get your hands on. In fact, you shouldn't dress the gospel in rags and then invite your boss to the church. This truth doesn't just apply to work. But don't live contrary to your beliefs anywhere. Don't live a double standard at home. If you do so, it will turn your kids away from wanting to serve Christ. Frankly, some believers follow the world's behavior and they are living in sins, but at the same time, they preach the Bible to others and urge them to leave sin and live a life of faith. Don't live a double standard in your life. In the Bible, Paul said that, you yourselves are our letter, written on our hearts, known and read by everyone 2 Corinthians 3 2. The truth is, we are the Bible letter which the people will read, because they look at our lives. So, the greatest way to testify to Jesus is our behavior, because when people see that our behavior is similar to Jesus, then we will be a light to the world and we will reflect the image of Jesus to the world. But if our behavior is sin, then we won't affect on people who hear our message about Christ and our speech about Him, therefore, don't live a double standard in your life. Pray these words. Heavenly Father, help me to always live according to your holy word, in order to testify to you by my deeds and not only by my words, so that the others see the greatness of transformation you have made in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray Amen. May God always bless you and may you all go through life with Jesus Christ in your life.